Hey guys, my name is iMac117 and today I will be doing a reaction to the new Styles Battlefront 2 Behind the Story. Now by the way, I am not dead. I, it's been two weeks, I know. I hasn't been many videos to react to or many videos that I just don't get around to reacting because I've been so busy. But, you know, we're here to check Ooh. this one out. So... Yeah, the, I've got this one and then the last Jedi one. So, yeah, let's check this out. So, three, two, one, now. <laughs> Holy shit. I've always been a fan of the dark side. The idea of the Imperial perspective is you never really understand who they are as people, right? Or how the organization works. How can we distill that and how can we make a story around that? The story of Battlefront 2 is absolutely an essential story. What happened after Return of the Jedi? What happened to the galaxy? What happened to the Empire without an Emperor? What it might feel like to be in this galaxy as it starts to break apart. What's really exciting about this story is that we're going to see it from the point of view of a character like Aiden. So we're going to see it from this Imperial point of view. Inferno Squad is a black ops team that most people don't even know exist. We weren't expecting special forces. We happen to be on Endor when the second Death Star explodes. Aiden is presented with an extreme challenge, the destruction of the Death Star 2 and the death of the Emperor. What sort of choices would somebody in that situation have to make about who they are and what the galaxy was going to become? And it's interesting, does that mean, now that the Empire has fallen, that they're the underdogs? Aiden is a tried and true and through and through Imperial. She's somebody who grew up on a planet called Vardos. She was very quickly put into a military camp for children. She has spent her whole life building up to this moment to be commander of Inferno Squad. I'm afraid this inform the Admiral that Operation Syndicate could proceed as planned. Is that Cast fucking... Is the most zealous of them all, I that would say. Like He's the most interested and invested in how is far the fucking... Empire is willing to go. He was an orphan, so he needed Holy shit, it is too. To. Empire is peace and justice and order. Even when people are faltering around him, he pushes forward and says, no, the Empire is the way. I'm picking up distress calls, too many to count. Dell has seen more of the galaxy than most people in the Empire. He actually grew up on Coruscant during the time of the Jedi. He brings a lot of humor. Him and Aiden have a bit of a banter, a bit of a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Family is a really important element in Star Wars, and one of the things that we wanted to make sure we captured is the dynamic between Garrick Versio and his daughter Aiden Versio. This is the catalyst for Aiden where she learns the future of the Empire and she's elevated to a point by her father. Your next assignments, they are unusual. She's my daughter. She's just all I have. I do need for her to understand like why I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Everything in Star Wars is connected and part of our job is to make sure that the games we're making do connect back into that larger universe. But we're now able to use this game in Battlefront 2 as a resource to take this information into future development projects. Hope cannot save them! I think all those gamers out there are gonna just love it. This is the culmination of all of the things that are good in the world. <laughs> Video games, Star Wars, and a team of people that are willing to take the time to do the work. We have to take risks, we have to be bold, we have to push everyone's boundaries and leave a good footprint behind. Hmm, okay. Didn't really show much of gameplay. It did show, like, I did hear, like, they did a mission. You know, the, like, the end of the last trailer, how it showed, um, the, uh, what was it? The, uh, you know, the space station getting um, attacked, you know. So they showed a little bit of that. Um, you know, it's really with the girl who's playing, uh, the main character, what's her name? I, Iden, 
first year or something, I don't know. But, it, oh, I watched, like, the battle, it was, like, a E3, and she did the Battlefront 2 thingo on stage, and I thought it was really cringy how she did it. You can search it up on, uh, I think it was on the Star Wars YouTube channel. It is, I found it so cringy how she did it, let's just say that. Like, she was just... She just went out and said, I am Eileen Asia, lead of the Infinity. Like, she did it really serious. And, like, she did it like everyone knew who she was. Like, the thing was, like, you know, no one knew who Ray and Finn and all that were until Force Awakens come out and now everyone loves them. That's going to be the same thing with her. You know, she can't pretend that, oh, everyone loves me already because they're showing trailers. You know, you have to pretend that you have to just act chill. And then once the game comes out, everyone, everyone's either going to hate you or love you. That's what it's going to be. But I'm pretty sure everyone will like it. I did not know that dude from Arrow's in it. That's cool. Um, I always thought he was a cool character in Arrow. He's an asshole, but you know. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.